Good morning, YouTube. How are you doing? We just took a look at the Linux list and I told you that I would choose a distribution out of that list to install on my tablet, my x86 tablet. But, you know, um, in fact, I didn't find anything really in the list except for par 6 with the gnome desktop the new gnome desktop i wanted to you know look for something else and then suddenly i got the idea i was thinking about the distribution that i once installed on the microwave tablet <laughs> just just look it up i have a tablet it looks like a microwave it was the first 10 inch tablet ever created and i still have it somewhere it's running Linpus Linux so I went and take a look at Linpus Linux and then I discovered that these guys are making a sort of Android version Linpus Android version that will run on tablets it's crazy but um, they also have of course the Linpus Linux the latest version they call it Linpus Linux Lite so I got it and uh, I downloaded it and at this moment I'm here creating a bootable USB stick with UNET boot in. I'm not even sure if it's gonna work. If not, then I will have to, you know, uh, create a bootable USB stick with probably power ISO on the Windows. We're doing this on my Mac. So yeah we'll have to see if this will boot up uh in the meantime i will get my stuff ready we need a little hub we need the external keyboard for this tablet this is a 10 inch tablet it's uh the few sonic few pet 10 it's a very popular tablet here on youtube because it was the first uh linux tablet showing you don't want to believe it linux mint 12 and at that time when uh i showed linux mint 12 um all the other distributions out there would you know kind of not support the touch that while linux mint was the first one you know that proudly supported the touch of this tablet and that's why this thing was kind of the first Linux tablet here on YouTube somewhere in 2013, 2012. So you must check my list. It's been a while, you know. So I'm setting up this stuff here. We're almost there. I think there's enough battery in the tablet. So until then, uh, of course, I'm going to get back to you. Also advised, if you do a thing like this, and it's also uh, almost 1.30 in the morning. It's advised to, you know, get yourself a nice cup of warm chocolate mix with a little bit of coffee inside. So that's always keeping you alert so you don't make stupid mistakes. Will it boot or will it not boot? That's the thing. We just uh, inserted the boot stick and I'm gonna hit F11. Sorry for all the fingerprints on the tablet. We select boot device, F11, and we're gonna select the Lexar, and it's not booting. So I need a Windows machine to create a bootable USB stick. Well, you know, these things happen, but I'm showing you so, you know, you can also sometimes uh, understand when a thing like this happens. And here you can see the profit of having also a Windows machine available because uh, here um, I just copied the, uh, the file, the 1500 megabyte file straight up to my Windows Vista machine. Yeah, you guys are like Vista. What is wrong? You're Vista? What's up with you? Yeah, man, this is Vista. I had the license left and I just uh, used it. I was happy with it. It runs fantastic. You know, before our laptops were not so strong when Vista came out. So everybody complained. We're gonna get a power ISO, but only 4.9. It's a deprecated version. 
um, you will even get a warning that you know some some scam warning you will get here I think at least I'm not sure if you're gonna get it if we still get it you see that uh, reported on blah 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 ignore this warning you see so save the file they don't want you to save the file we get the warning install this is the best power ISO ever you can install it with your eyes closed no spyware that while the new one now you must hit cancel okay don't hit okay otherwise it's gonna restart your computer we don't need to you know start the computer we're gonna start the power ISO with right mouse click run as administrator and then we say okay we say continue on registered and then we just gonna uh, say tools and then uh, make create bootable USB we go to our desktop and you see a la desktop we have Linpus Linux and we just hit uh, start and it will format the USB so until this is done peeps I'm gonna get back to you because this might take a little Alrighty peeps, the USB stick is created and uh, now we must see if it's bootable and if it will work on the tablet. Okay, let's cross our fingers. We hit F11. And we're gonna hit the stick and yay you see that it made a difference we're booting up Linpus finally but that's how it goes peeps wow look at that <laughs> I love that I love I love the the, the Linux uh, Linpus boot screen This is very nice and it's really cool that they're also working on that Android uh, version of them. So in fact, uh, yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna install it on this tablet. This is a real-time boot that you're looking at. And you can see that the stick is really active. It's really flashing. No stops. Just booting up, discovering the hardware. Soon we're gonna see another blue light will pop up here that's the Wi-Fi and now we have the dots dots you see the blue light went on the second one here and for now we have some dots here See that? I dislike the fingerprints. I'm gonna get a, a cloth. I, I don't like it. It looks so not decent. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I came back from the kitchen and you know <laughs> the thing was already booted up, but I'm still gonna clean the screen real fast as you can see this claw that I'm doing it with is really removing all the fingerprints and uh, yeah the screen looks all new again all right um, the touch screen is not working and that is kind of uh, a pity because yeah I really wanted to see this thing uh, running on my tablet but then again if I look a little bit at the operating system I find it more something for a desktop you know so I think you guys out there with Linux uh, laptops etc could give this a try all right you could uh, give it a try I don't really have a mouse left you can see this broken mouse is not good enough so um, yeah uh, we could try to reboot it 
and see if we can you know choose something else uh, in the boot but i think there were only two things that we could select and that was uh, to start it up and or to install it so let's do that again we hit f10 we get in the boot menu we boot up as you can see it's installing or uh, starting up so in fact we have no success with this distribution on this tablet although they say that touchscreen is really supported and yeah i wrote some nice things on there on the side but yeah in fact it's not working so i'm kind of a little bit disappointed but not really because uh, i'm gonna keep this distribution and i'm gonna install this on some uh on some laptop to see uh how it runs although um you can also do this download link will be in the description so go ahead download it and uh install it first boot it up see if all your hardware is kind of working if it works you know just install it and play with it a bit and yeah let me know in the comments how it works for you um in this case i will uh think i am thinking of getting parsecs so i'm gonna take a look at parsecs with the new gnome desktop it was in our uh, december list uh, or maybe even chapeau you know i'm also thinking of chapeau i want to take a look at chapeau those are really big files so it will take a little to download them until then uh, i will say see you in my next video because uh, yeah this is not working it's not having any touch so it makes no sense uh, to even try so we're gonna leave it for this peeps uh, if you think this video was cool uh, of course please like subscribe and uh yeah see you in my next video that of course will be uh of about installing uh, some linux on this tablet one that is really cool to run on a tablet because i'm still trying to find the best distribution linux distribution out there for tablets and i did not really find it yet and for me it's not ubuntu 12 absolutely not you know um in some way i'm pressing lots of wrong things when you know i'm on the desktop so we'll have to see which one will get the number one here on the fusonic viewpad 10.